C++ is a powerful language. It is used to create giants such as Google, Photoshop and Windows. However, C++ is complex and tough to learn with many low level concepts. Even so, I had the amazing idea to make a game using C++ with no prior experience. This is going to be the most difficult programming challenge that I have ever done. I decided to use SFML as the framework to make my game. SFML is a multimedia library and can be used to easily perform common functions such as creating a window and rendering a sprite. So I downloaded SFML quickly and spent about two hours just to set up a simple project. My idea for the game was that you control a spaceship that can turn left and right. There would be enemy spaceships that would try to trail you and you could manoeuvre the player in a way to make them crash. I also wanted there to be falling asteroids that could destroy both the player and enemies. I started by making the player sprite in pixel and rendering it onto the screen. The player will move forward continuously and using a bit of trigonometry we can control the spaceship to turn left and right. Next I worked on making animations for the player and implementing them. Now the spaceship actually looks like it's flying. But even with the cool animations the game is still looking kind of flat so I fix that by adding shadows to the game. Ok now it's time for the pew pew. You know, like the shooting and stuff. So I made some animations and created a projectile class along with the projectile manager instance. I also had to create a texture manager script to make managing the sprites easier. After some code and bugs, we finally got pew pew. Now I want to add some contrails for the spaceship thingy to make the game more realistic. And what better way to do that than creating my very own particle system. This is such a bad idea. Anyways, actually coding the system wasn't that bad. I ran into various errors but I was able to fix them. The hard part was calculating the positions for the trails involving trigonometric 2D matrix multiplication. Here's the result, looking pretty good. Currently we can shoot and all but we have nothing to shoot at. So I made some asteroid sprites, some code, added particle system, did more code and created collisions. So now there are asteroids that will fall randomly. Let's see what happens if we touch one. Oh, it seems like we have a problem. It was at this point that I realised the gameplay and scope of the project was too big and complex for the challenge and that it would be too hard for me to make without the use of a game engine. But this video is about making a game in C++, not a game in Unity. So instead, I opted to change the game idea to be an endless shooter where you had to not get hit by any asteroids. I changed it so that the player is limited to movement on the x-axis and that the asteroids would only fall straight down. Then I added some text so that you can see your current score. The score is just how many seconds that you have survived. I also implemented screen wrapping so that when the player reaches the side of the screen, it will go to the other side. I was able to fix the collisions and now asteroids get destroyed once they are shot at. When the asteroids are destroyed, their trail also gets destroyed instantly. But I couldn't be bothered to fix that bit. To spice up the gameplay, I added some big boys. These chunky asteroids are indestructible, meaning your puny bullets will not hurt them. At the moment, the game is still too easy, so we need to add a difficulty curve. I coded logic to make the asteroids spawn more frequently and fall faster, the higher score you achieve. So easy. Take that, you stupid rock. Oh wait. F Next, I used JSFXR to make some sounds for the game and coded an audio manager. Here is what it sounds like. Since I'm using axis aligned bounding box collision detection, the player will often die early before actually getting hit on screen. I solved this by creating a smaller, invisible sprite for the player to act as a hitbox and now it feels much better to play. Finally, we need some cool music for the game. I opened up LMMS and did my usual attempt of trying to make a good soundtrack. The first couple tracks I made were pretty bad, but I was finally able to make something that was half decent. The game is almost done, we just need a name. I called it Astro Evade because there's like asteroids and you gotta evade them. I improved the start screen so it actually looks like a proper game and then I did some more playtesting. The game was finished and it only took 5 days. I could have added more features like high scores, coins and disabling music but I think it's good enough. I made an itch.io page, link in the description down below, where you can download the game for free on Windows, Linux and Mac OS. Let me know what your high scores are in the comments. I'm actually happy with how the game turned out, 
and I may continue developing the original idea in the future. It might not have seemed like that, but this challenge was super hard and it was definitely the toughest programming challenge I've ever done. However, it was not as stressful as when I had only 48 hours to make a game, so you'll want to watch this video next.